Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe for more awesome content like this. And you've probably seen the title. And um, yeah, this is how to install the replay mod for Minecraft 1.15.2 or whatever version you want. And like the video and share it with everyone you want because if you've seen my live stream my goal is 100 million subscribers and as i said we're gonna need i'm gonna need lots of support from you so subscribe and like and comment and share and tell everyone you know to like and subscribe now, first thing you're going to do, which is most important, search Fabric Minecraft. Oh, wait, I forgot to say this is for Mac only. Well, you can figure out how to do it for Windows if you have. To install Fabric, you need Fabric Loader. Click right there. Download Universal. Keep that. Let's drag it off him. Close Minecraft at the moment. So, once you've got the fabric thing, so you right click, open with, or open, open. Then you wait for your Java to open. Um, if you don't have Java JDK, then Go to the video that just popped up on the screen, head down to the comment section, and then check the comment that I sent to if you get a, a JDK error message. Okay, so keep it as 1.15.2, loader version, just keep all of this stuff the same, then press install. And then it says done, close that. Open Minecraft and you'll notice that it says that. And ignore all these other things, they're just for other things I've done. Now hit play. Okay, once that's um, loaded and Minecraft's launched, you, you don't have to full screen it. Now you just wait until Minecraft gets ready and. Here and just ignore ignore this because this this won't happen for you and don't if ignore these two things if if you don't see them don't get get sad and think something didn't work that's fine I just um made a little mistake at something so then you just do this now you can quit the game and just quit the game now you go here. Go to your finder and do Shift Command G and type in this. I'll leave it down in the description and press Go. And now, once you're in there, you're gonna have to full screen it if it doesn't work. Then go there and open, and then you can minim minimize this. Ignore these two things. They're just stuff. Now you're gonna search replay mod and click replaymod.com. Download now. Now I recommend that you press download that because that takes you to an ad which gives the replay mod creators some money to keep up their website, but it doesn't work for me, so I'm just gonna do the mirror. Yeah, if the main download does not work for you. So the main domain doesn't work for me, so I choose to do mirror. If it works for you, then just do that. Now, I'll see you when the download's done. Okay, it's done. Press keep. Now, drag this over to here. And you can also throw that fabric and saw in the bin now. Now, you're going to have to go search fabric. API 
and then click on the first thing that comes up that's not an ad make sure it's 1.15.2 and then go download so once it's downloaded drag this to there now open up that thing we just did now you're gonna drag these two things in there like I already done but I'm just gonna throw them in the bin because I've already done that so you drag it in there now you can close that go into Minecraft then hit play again and the reason we um did the uh, fabric loader 1.15.2 before is to make that mods folder because if you didn't do that there wouldn't be a mods folder unless you've installed forge mods you'll still have to install fabric but you wouldn't have to hit play at the start now once minecraft's loaded you can full screen it Okay, <clears throat> now you can just skip, skip, that's not important, and before you'll see these two things. I've already made a replay, um, so if you go in here you'll see there's nothing there, but for me there is some because I've done some before. <clears throat> Ignore the replay center. Now if you go to single player, and then make a world, or just play one of the worlds that you already have in single player. I'm going to play, um, but rates are up, which is a cool world that I made in my live stream. You should check it out. It's just a bit experimental that live stream. But now you'll see in the corner that it says recording right there. So you just go forward. Oh, well, you just do whatever you want while it's recording. And then you can just walk around and jump up and down or something or go to bed. Or whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Uh, I'm just going to do some slow motion mining. That's real kind of what I'm going to do. So just doing some mining. And this isn't really part of what you have to do. You don't have to do any mining. I'm just doing this as an example. Now, you um, press save and quit to title. Go to the replay viewer. And then you'll see there's this thing. And this is recording, but rates are up. So, load. Then you'll see yourself. And there, there I am. Okay, so, first, press T. Then you'll have your mouse. T and then go uh, zero zero T I R T and then zero zero. Okay. Oh, something's not right. Um. Ah. Uh, okay. There. Yeah. Press escape once you press T, and then you will see yourself. So T, and then press add position keyframe, and add time keyframe. Now play this. I notice it does that weird thing. Then we're going to pause that. Add position key. Oh, wait. Oops. I... Uh, we're gonna do this. Oh well, press V. Add position keyframe and add time keyframe. Now do now drag that to the front and try. So then you'll see me just coming right through, and then it will stop and say camera path finished. So then you press escape 
then you can make your new camera path. So T again. Add time to the frame. Then V. Add position. So then you go all the way back to start and let's see how it looks. So the camera position keyframe is where the camera is and time keyframe is controlling the time. So then when we get there, it will move really fast and then that will be the end of it. Now you can keep playing this, escape and try and find where I am. Oh, I did a bit of a mistake. Gonna go a bit, bit back, a bit further back. T. There, that's good. Now, gonna press V again. I will shorten it down a bit. Add time keyframe, and then a bit further in here. Gonna hit escape and then T, add position, keyframe, and you go here and escape over here and then T and add position, keyframe. Now let's see how it looks. So here I am right there, I'm coming out. The camera moves really fast. Here I am, and then that's that. Okay, once once you're done editing, press Render Camera Path. Just check all of these things. Um, just keep them the same. Just do all this, and you'll notice that there's this thing down there. For this, you'll have to install FFmpeg. But uh, for FFmpeg, I'll do that in the second tutorial, which is the second tutorial is how to install FFmpeg and render and do that stuff with your videos. So I'm gonna make this a 360 video. So um, cubic rendering. Uh, so and twix whatever that says <laughs> then we're gonna chroma key a certain color like gray like that I guess and then once you've done the chroma keying Whatever that stuff is, inject spir spherical metadata. Meta Just ignore that this thing is still there for some reason. Anti aliasing. So, as I said, you won't be able to do this because you haven't installed FFmpeg, and I'll show you how to do that in the second episode. Let's render it. Uh, let's see the preview. Ooh. Yep. That looks so weird. Hmm. Hmm, what where's me? Where am I? Am I here? And it's faster if you don't do this. Cause this is a live preview of it rendering and see it's rendering really slow. There I am. Oh, it looks so weird when you have the 3D enabled. Then you can upload it to YouTube, uh, and then you can watch this thing in 3D. Ah, oh, it's so slow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, OK, 
Okay, it looks so weird at the moment. So let's just do this so the performance doesn't suffer. Let's just suffer the performance. And then I don't really know how to upload it to YouTube in the 3D, uh, 360 format. Um, but I think it's just pretty simple. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Ah, once it's done, you'll get this super loud video. Super loud noise, actually. So, and do this once you've gotten to the second one. You'll see this. Wait, this? Yep. And that, there it is. Now, I'm just going to upload it to YouTube. And thank you, thank you for watching. And as I said in the start, like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.